whole sort of video because I've ordered a fair few books so I thought I might start with the first thing that I've ordered um, which I ordered this I think two months ago which is the Mortal Instruments series so this is the like first set of books <laughs> the series there are other like tie-ins and stuff like that so yeah that's the first one I got I've read one I'm currently on the second book um, yeah, so I got this set because I really enjoyed the first book and I decided I wanted the whole set but I couldn't find a set that would work with the books that I'd, I did have. So I went and bought the entire series and my, I gave my cousin the other two, the two that I had. So then I got these ones last week. I've got a box which is what I got today. So first up I've got Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Um, this is honestly my favourite book in the world. Um, I read I read it as an e-book, um, just on my e-reader while I was in Switzerland, and I decided that I wanted like an actual copy of the book, like a physical copy, so that I could like read it and enjoy it. So I did get it, and I think that it's absolutely stunning. Um, then I've got All the Bright Places. Um, I've heard a really 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 good reviews on the book and I think that it's a book that I definitely do think that I will enjoy so there's another one that I've got uh, then I also got The Hate You Give um, yet again I've heard really good reviews on this book and I really wanted to have a bit more diversity in my bookshelf for a start and also because I really wanted to read this kind um, read this book as well and then finally, um, my, the book that I'm currently reading, which is Stop Surviving, Start Fighting. Um, I've seen the author on social media a fair bit, and when I found out that she had a book um, about her story with mental health and stuff, I decided that I really wanted to get the book and read it, so I've now got the book. I'm currently reading it. I'm on, I think, chapter four? Chapter five, actually. Yeah, I'm on chapter five. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm very slow at getting into it, but I think that's just because it is, it does cover some really hard topics, so yeah. And then finally, we've got the box. <laughs> if I could ever open the Oh, what, what, what is going on here? Okay. One way of getting into a book thing. Sure. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting box. I have not opened it properly. <laughs> I'm not good at opening boxes. Mm. Where's my... Um, what is what I'm thinking of? Also, apologies about how awful my bed's looking currently. It's just not made. Okay. I think I've done it. <laughs> okay. Yay. I do... I think I was given one bookmark. I love it. Okay, so... I'm going to place this on the ground. Uh, so first off, ooh. I was going to say, it feels like, oh, there is. Oh, that's cool. So it feels like there's actually texture on the book, and I love that. So I've got Girl in Pieces. Um, yeah, another book that I've seen really good reviews on, and I really want to read more books about mental illness and stuff like that, because it's something that I find very interesting. And yeah, as a psychology student, I do like 
kind of reading into what other people think about mental health and because I can't learn about it this year because of COVID it's been cut out of my course I really want to read some books based around I didn't actually realize the books were this small oh well what, what's going on here um okay actually I'll start off with this one <laughs> okay so I've got the full Hunger Games series um minus the latest book I really wanted to reread them mostly because I don't actually think that I when I did read them back when I was 13 or something like that I don't actually think that I actually took in the books themselves and I am dead set that I skipped through the last two books I read the first book but I skipped through the other two so yeah I've ordered the these two in which I'm actually going to finish opening them on camera where the heck did my thing go <laughs> misplaces pocket knife every four seconds this is my life story okay Ah, there we go. Then we just go nick. I'm just trying to be like so careful because I'm working with books and not like tack and stuff. Because tack and stuff, it's pretty easy to get out of a packet. Whereas with books, I don't really want to damage the book. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so yes. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> I love these. They are so pretty. I've got more series to put on my shelf now. <laughs> See, I love ha putting book series and stuff onto my shelves. And the fact that I can now put more book series on my shelf is amazing. Finally, I think I might actually just open the set first. Because I think that'll be easier. That is a nail file. <laughs> Opens the nail file instead of the knife part. Oh, there's a bit of damage on the edge of my thing. That's disappointing. The edge of my box is ever so slightly damaged in all the corners. <laughs> um, is there any damage to my books? That is very disappointing. Then again, I paid very little for them. The spines aren't cracked, so that's a good sign. They're not good quality boxes. Yeah. I don't know. There's a bit of damage to my books, and that's disappointing. Okay, so finally... Do I just shove them all back in? Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit terrible at book holes, that's for sure. Okay, so finally, I've got the, I'm not good at this, I got the first part of the Percy Jackson series, like the first series, I can't actually remember what the first collection is called, but yes, I've got the first collection of them. Yet again, I've heard really good reviews and it's been a book series that I really wanted to read for a while, so it's now on my pile. The next question, where do I put all these books on my shelf? <laughs> um, actually, first off, I want to get a nice-ish looking photo of a lot of the books. Yeah, I think that'll do the job pretty well. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll just quickly flick it to here. Okay, so the top shelf is going to be, is basically, I'm turning this into my series shelf. So it's the shelf that I put all of my book series sort of thing. Um, yeah. So. I'm ignoring that phone. Mostly because I can't answer it. There we go. That'll work for my book strip. Welcome to the other side of my room. I've definitely not set this up properly, but then again, I'm balancing on literally everything currently. That'll work. So, what my current plan here is, is, is that there is no plan for starters. Um, okay, let's target it like this. Then we just go in like this. Oh, perfect. 
So there's the book series shelf. <laughs> box set shelf anyway. Um, next one. I probably need to refix my rainbow shelf, wouldn't I? Um, that's an orange, orange, pink, blue and kind of blue. Okay. See, I hate having a rainbow shelf, but it also like looks cool. So, No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a rainbow shelf. I'm sick of it. What I'm instead going to do is just put the books onto the shelf. <laughs> um, so I'm still gonna like have a relatively like rainbow-ish style, but it's not gonna be like a proper rainbow shelf. Just because um, when I did it the first time, it drove me up the wall. So I can't imagine how I would feel doing it a second time. Just because I feel like a second time might kill me. Uh, any other greens? No? is technically one of my blue books and then we've got doesn't look nice. I just personally don't like the look of rainbow shelves but also mine's not a proper rainbow shelf that's for sure. It's just kind of colour coordinated ish. I mean it looks okay. The series shelf is probably my favourite so yeah. Uh, yeah I'm happy with it. <laughs> Since I never filmed an outro, here it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any other videos you'd like to see from me, put them in the comments down below. If you like this video and you would like to see more from me, please subscribe down below. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>